Welcome back to the channel. Um, if I could, you know, get your attention for just one second. Um, I want to talk to you guys about, well, about my town again. Now, I know a while back I made a video about my town, but not like the town is like a hole or anything, kind of just like a brief summary, I guess is what you could call it. Um, the video was about how the death rate, believe it or not, out of all things, but the death rate, the amount of people living in my town that are dying or passing away is really high, really high for such a small town for a town of this size. Um, it's kind of crazy. It kind of stands out. You know what I mean? You know, and like I said, the majority of that, from what I've come to realize, is it's all about choices. It's all about decisions that people are making that will later down the road impact and forever change their lives. I mean, that's how choices and decisions, that's what they are. That's how they, that's the whole point. That's the whole purpose of a choice. It can later on, it can come back and affect things later on in life. But the decisions that a lot of these people obviously are making are just really bad decisions. Like I said, you know, a lot of the people here that are unfortunately dying and passing away and things like that, a lot of them are due to bad decisions that these people made, you know, earlier on. Because uh, a lot of people that are passing away, um, you have people dying from like a lot, there's a lot of drug overdoses and stuff like that. Um, you know, people, you know, just abuse of even prescription medication, you know, because prescription medication is uh, just as dangerous <clears throat> as actual illegal drugs. You know what I mean? If you're taking too much medication or too many different types of medication at one time, you can overdose like hundred percent. And that has happened to a lot of these people as well. But then you also got people that are taking a lot of illegal drugs as well. You got people doing crack, people doing meth, fentanyl, um, just like actual nasty stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, PCP, you know, a lot of bad stuff. And people are overdosing, unfortunately. I mean, but it's kind of one of those things, you know, you, you make those decisions and those choices and you go down that road. It doesn't have positive circumstances. It doesn't have a positive outcome. You know what I mean? It's usually always negative and it catches up to people in the long run. You know what I mean? And then you got people that are dying because all they've done is just drink their entire lives from, you know, alcohol. You have people that just, since they were like in their late teenage years to their early twenties have just nonstop been drinking their entire lives from so early on. Like I said, from like their twenties to even late teens, all the way through their fifties and sixties and stuff like that. Just drinking every single day, you know, alcohol. And now, you know, their livers and their kidneys and stuff are shutting down and their bodies are fighting back against them and they're dying. You know what I mean? Alcohol poisoning, drug overdose, stuff like that. It's, it's a bad road to go down. It really is. And that's what a huge majority of the deaths in this town are. 
It's from alcohol abuse and drug abuse and things like that. Um, and then you throw in some of the random things in there, like people dying from strokes and heart attacks and stuff like that. People that, you know, end up getting like cancers and stuff, you know. Yeah, people dying from, you know, lung cancer and stuff from also the same thing with the alcohol is kind of also similar to the smoking thing. You got people who are dying because their lungs are shutting down. They're getting COPD, lung cancer, because they've been nonstop smoking cigarettes since they were freaking teenagers and they just never stopped. And like I said, with anything... It's a, everything comes full circle and everything will come to you and catch back up to you in the end later down the road. And then, oh, all of a sudden now, you know, they've got lung cancer now or something, or now they got COPD and they can't breathe and they need oxygen, all these things. You know what I mean? But most of it, most of it could have been probably avoided. You know what I mean? Had you not chosen if had you not chosen to smoke, had you not chosen to drink, or at least not drink so much, you know what I mean? Had you not chosen to do drugs, abuse prescription drugs, get addicted to painkillers, yada, yada, yada. Had you just not done those things, you know what I mean? Then your life would have a different outcome. You know, you wouldn't, maybe you wouldn't have had such a, a negative, you know, effect because of all that, you know, maybe you could have changed the way that your life turned out, you know, and then you got people, you know, just, just random stuff like that. You know what I mean? And then you got all the other unfortunate deaths that really weren't people's fault. You got, you know, like the murders, the homicides, the suicides and stuff like that. All that mixed in with all this as well. And it all equals out to, you know, such a small, small Ohio town. You know, with such a, such a huge loss of life over the years. And like I said, it shows Orient's population is decreasing. You don't have as many people here, you know, that have kids, you know, and it didn't used to be like this. When I was a kid, you know, because I came to Orient back like during middle school years or whatever, when I, when I came to Orient, you know, during middle school, you know, as a kid, right? Like what, 13, 14 years old or whatever. When I dropped here, it was a totally different place. It really was. Now, sure, you had all these other people, you know, they were already doing all these things. They were already, you know, you already had all these people who were already hooked, you know, on drugs and drinking themselves to death and smoking and stuff like that. Like, sure, that was probably all secretly going on behind the scenes with all these people. We were kids, so we didn't really notice and we didn't really, you know what I mean, didn't really know about it or whatever. But, like, it just felt like a better place back then when we were kids. Um, but, no, but there are things that definitely have changed. Like, back in the day when we were kids here, you had all these other kids that you could hang out with, you know what I mean? And play with and stuff like that. You actually had like groups, like friend groups and stuff. Like there was a bunch of kids here when I was a kid, you had, and everyone had like a bicycle and everyone would hang out and ride up to the park. And you actually had kids playing in the, sh you know, all over the place and playing at the park and riding their bikes. And, uh, now there's, there's nothing. There's none of that. That doesn't exist here anymore. Because I think all of those kids that I grew up with, 
they're all gone now. They've all, they've all moved away. They're all like my age or close to my age now. And some of them now have kids of their own. You know what I'm saying? But they've all moved away and everyone has left the town. You know what I'm saying? They're not here anymore. And all the people that are here just don't have kids or they're just really old and they're part of the uh, like senior citizen uh, community. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people living in this town that are like most of the people here are over the age of 50. You know what I mean? A lot of these people are retired and stuff like all the uh, like normal like people and stuff like that. You know, so all their kids are well, way old, and they've moved out long ago. So all you're really left with in this town is you got all these older people, you know, 50s and above, that are all pretty much retired now, or close to retiring. But then you got the unfortunate other half of that, of all these people who are just slowly just dying. They're slowly digging their own graves you you know the people who are you know addicted to drugs drinking themselves to death with alcoholism smoking themselves to death you know getting lung cancer and stuff like that you got all those people and they're just their lives are just year after year getting closer to the end you know what i mean and there's like no kids here anymore. And even if there were kids here anymore, it's like, what are they supposed to do? Because like I said in, in another video, Scioto Township has auctioned off the town park. So the park's gone now. It's going to go to some private buyer, whoever ends up with it. You know what I mean? So the town no longer has a park. It no longer has a public area, like a neutral area for people to go and hang out and have fun. It's gone. You know what I mean? The township sold it off. So even if there were kids here, what are they going to do? Where would they go? Because there's nothing... There's nothing left here anymore. Huh. And there wasn't here, there wasn't much here anyway, but to even begin with. But when we were kids, you know, at least well, there were other kids to hang out with. And at least we like made it work and we made stuff actually fun. Uh, but now that's not really a thing anymore out here. It's all gone now and it, like i said if you're from here you grew up here or whatever then you know what i'm talking about you know things are different now than what they used to be orient just feels just feels dead it feels like this lifeless dead empty town you know what i mean it's weird. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know the future of this town, but at the same time, it's like at this point, you know, there's nobody really, there's nobody doing anything to help the town's image. There's nobody, you know what I mean? They, you would think that the township, you know, if you wanted to help somebody out, if you wanted to help a town's image or help the community out here. You wouldn't go and sell off their only park. You would think that they'd be, if anything, they would have tried to help rebuild the park or build a better park. You know what I mean? Put more things in place to help the community. Instead, they're just taking everything away they're doing the opposite. You know what I mean? So clearly 
clearly, you know what I mean, Sutter Township does not have Orient's best interest in mind. So that's what I'm saying. The future of this town is very uncertain. It's kind of just hanging in the balance. And there's no sense of direction as to what's to come for this place. I don't think there's much hope left, honestly, for this town. I think eventually it's just going to kind of, if it hasn't already, but I think it's kind of just going to fall off the face of the map, you know, kind of just become nothing eventually. It's weird, man. It's weird seeing a place that you grew up as you grew up in as a kid and you have like these fond memories and all this stuff, all this experience with growing up as a kid. You have like kind of like a connection, if you will, with this place. Just to like see it now, years, years later. And you think, you know, most places are supposed to, I know I'm kind of going on a bit here, but most places are supposed to get better places are supposed to get better as time goes on. You know what I mean? Not worse. But here we are, years and years later, and it's done just that. It's gotten worse. It really has. <laughs> I mean, seriously, anybody, like, come out here do a walk around of this place and tell me there's tell me there's something still here cuz i don't see it i just don't see it anymore i think this place is done i really do i think it's done i don't know but all right guys I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump off here. I'll see you guys in another video.